All right, friends, today in Mrs. DeVita's art room, we are going to draw an Among Us Santa. All right, so you wanna put your paper horizontally. Make sure you have something to draw with, whether it's a Sharpie or a pencil. I choose to start with a pencil usually. That makes it in case um, I have to erase or anything. So we're gonna start in the middle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with an upside down letter U. All right, and if you, the shape's not coming out like you want it, you can always go over it if you do sort of sketchy lines. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna do our visor. I'm gonna start kind of a little left of center here. All right, start right down from about right here. Come out, just a little bit of a point. And the corners are rounded and sort of like, almost like an oval, but almost like a rectangle at the same time. A little bit of a point right here. You can always come back and erase. All right, it does have a shine mark at the top. I will go ahead and get that in there. All right, there we have his visor. And we're gonna come down. We're gonna work on the feet. We're gonna round up here. Now we're gonna make our Among Us Santa look like it's kind of turned a little bit. So this foot's gonna be a little bit lower, or leg. So we're gonna come in like that, come up. We're gonna have our other leg is gonna be slightly up a little bit because our Among Us character is kind of turned a little bit. You see that? All right, now we're gonna work on our arm. We'll get to our Santa hat in a moment. I did have a really great special request from my friend Jovi for an Among Us Santa with a little elf on a shelf pet. So I think I will have that coming to you in a few days. All right, so now we have our character. What we're gonna do is we're going to work on our hat. So in order to do the hat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up. We're gonna overlap this line. We can always go back and erase. That's why you probably want to draw with your pencil first. So we're gonna make, this is gonna come down kind of right over the visor. It is not going to overlap the visor, but it's almost like we're doing a cloud here, friends. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have a particular number of little bumps here. Okay. So now I've got that. You see how I've got this right here? I can always go back later on and erase that, or I can erase it now. It's entirely up to you. Okay. So I have my little Santa hat here. If I want to come out a little more past his head, do that. All right, now we're gonna do the top of the hat. In order to do the top of the hat, we're gonna find this little curve here. We're gonna continue on with that. We're gonna do a line that kind of curves right there, almost like a diagonal line. All right, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna find this little curve and we're going to go up into a point. Now I have my point right here. What I'm gonna do from there is I'm gonna come down. So I have this, I have this, I have two diagonal lines. If those continue to go into space, they would intersect. All right, and I have a third diagonal line where it kind of turns down. Now I'm gonna have my little puff on my hat. Looks like a piece of popcorn. All right, I now have an Among Us Santa. So if I want, what I can do is I can come in, let me see if I can find my permanent marker here. You can get a Sharpie or whatever you may need. Oh, and um, we'll talk about the shadow in just a moment. I did do a shadow. I worked on the shading just a bit here. So that is something you can really work on. Um, and if you notice on the shadows on the Among Us characters, they do have a lot of shading. You wanna be really particularly neat when you're coloring in. And I'll kind of demonstrate just a bit of that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come, kind of come in. It's kind of a cute little guy, actually. I don't know if he is the imposter or not. Miss Davida is not the imposter, by the way. I could be. I mean, but. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go around it. And this is the last night was actually my first time drawing an Among Us character. I actually do not play video games. It was kind of at the request of my daughter, who loves Among Us, by the way. And what you can do is you can actually double up the line if you prefer that like a little bit thicker line. It's like a little bit more cartoony. Okay. 
is a little more of a graphic arts look to it. All right. So we have our little guy. What we're gonna do when we come in, when it's time to, I missed a little spot right here. When it's time to color, what you wanna do, um, and the hat has like sort of a little shine mark on it. So I'm gonna kind of draw that in. You want to be as neat as you can possibly be with your coloring. Keep your structure together. Don't color like every which way because that won't, that'll make it kind of messy looking. You wanna kind of color going sort of in that same direction. If you lay down your strokes kind of lightly to start off, you can always go back in and kind of darken them up. All right, now I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm just gonna color the hat for right now and I can always do another video sort of demonstrating how to color the rest of the character. Now we have our little shine mark right here. It is darker, if you look, it is darker over here. So what I did is I took my pencil and I sort of created that little bit of a shadow. And if I layer my pencil over the red of the color pencil, it kind of gives us that shadowy look. Now I started out kind of lightly. If I want kind of a deeper, richer red, I can come back in and I can color. Okay. So I can come back into that. Actually, you know what? Since I've got my little green guy, why don't I show you how to do the shading on our, if you notice on the body, it kind of has this lighter part and then it has this. Let's do the top of the arm. If we start with the top of his arm, you've got this like kind of lighter area right here. And then the bottom is darker. You don't want to have a really distinct line between them. You just want to kind of very lightly, you don't want to have the line showing. You just want to kind of do you like that. See the pencil maybe wind it down here. And then if you look at the body, we've got this little scoop that kind of comes in. Um, so what I'm going to do, that top's going to almost be sort of a pinkish look to it because We've got to see what I'm doing. I'm just really establishing this tiny little, very faint line right here. And faint means that you can't see it very well, or just it's just very light. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my red color pencil and this part right here, I'm just gonna very, very lightly color in with my red. You see what I'm doing? And so I can sort of see my marks of my pencil right now. So what I'm gonna wanna do is come back over those and sort of blend everything. But when I get to this point right here where my line is, I'm gonna kind of deepen up my shading right here. And that's gonna make the distinction between the top of my little character and the bottom part where that deeper, richer red is, all right? And that's pretty much how you do it, friends. As far as the shadow underneath his little feet, we have not done the visor yet, but the visor is sort of a bluish gray. So what I did for that initially is I kind of came in and I've got this other part right here. Okay, I've got this little bit of a shadow. You've got this little shine mark. I kind of took the side of my pencil and I was super lightly put laid down a little bit of a pencil mark. You can take your finger and you can blend it. And then down here, I sort of came in a little bit darker. Okay, and the, the visor's sort of like a turquoise or like a blue gray. What I, the way I looked at it is that when I got out my pencil, I actually ended up using sort of this turquoise pencil. And if you go over that, Okay, all right, you get that light turquoise look. And then, so you can adjust it to where you get that value that you want. But if you blend that gray of the pencil, that graphite from the pencil in with the turquoise, it sort of actually gets that look of the way those visors look in Among Us. So I can kind of come in, 
come back in. If I want it to be more smooth looking, I can do like that. Um, I can come back in and take my eraser, draw that out. I might want to darken this up just a bit, just to differentiate between my little shine mark and this part right here. But again, I want this part to be the very darkest. Um, and I can keep working on that and layering it till I get this effect. I deepened up the shading there. All right, now at the bottom for the circle, same thing, or it's actually an ellipse. It's more like an oval, which is a circle. An ellipse is a circle seen at an angle. So we got this little, it's a little larger than the one I did initially on this one. So I guess he's got like, we got like two Santas. We got a red one. All right. Again, I'm using the side of my pencil to shade. I can go back in and I can smooth it up with my finger. Just kind of laying it down for right now. And then I can always come back in. I can blend. I can use a piece of paper towel if you don't want to get your finger all grayish. Okay, and what I can always do is if I don't like those edges, if you're kind of a little bit of a perfectionist, you can use your eraser and your pencil to kind of clean up those edges a little bit. All right, and then what I can do, friends, is I can always come back in and I can finish up coloring my little guy in. Now I have, this is a little bit larger than the one I did yesterday. And take your time. You don't have to feel like you have to rush on your coloring. You can always stop this video if you feel like I'm going too fast on something. The, real, the thing that really makes this is if you kind of practice the shading like I did, like your lights and your darks, which is, which is a value. The value is the lightness or darkness of a color. So if you really put a little emphasis onto your differentiation from here to here, um, that is really what makes our drawing is your lights and your darks and all that. So I hope this helped you with your shading techniques. And now we have two little Among Us character friends. All right, so we have our Among Us Santa. It looks like we've got a mini one and a larger one. Maybe it's like not quite pet size, but. All right, well, thank you for joining us and have fun drawing your Among Us Santa. Thank you, bye-bye.